Mayor Karen Bass, thank you for coming to the Saturday show. Thanks for having me on. So you focused your election campaign on addressing the housing crisis. I remember sitting with you there in, in Los Angeles after you had just announced. It's been 11 months since you were elected mayor. What's changed since then? Well, you know, I do believe that there is a new sense of urgency in the city. Uh, we launched Inside Safe right after I took over, and that was a campaign that has been continuing to get people out of tents and into housing. And I think everyone assumed that there was going to be resistance because there was this myth that people wanted to stay on the street. And I will tell you, Jonathan, we have not had a problem at all. Well, since you mentioned Inside Safe, which is a citywide voluntary strategy to bring people inside from tents and encampments, I want you to listen to one of the program's participants. I walked in, and literally, that was the first time I felt safety and peace and a sense of this is the beginning of the rest of my life. This is finally the catapult that. I've been waiting for, believing in, dreaming of, and it's it's all because because of this project. So, Mayor Bass, how is the Inside Safe program tackling the housing and mental health crisis? Well, what we're doing is is that we are leasing motel rooms. It's a very expensive model, so we're getting ready to master lease, which means we lease the entire motel, and we go to the encampments, which are a series of tents. And what I think the general public might not realize is that in order to survive on the street, people create communities. And so instead of splitting them up, we move the entire community inside. Mm. A community-based organization takes over and provides the services. Now, we are, there are a lot of gaps. We need many more services. But I will tell you that 2,000 people last year died on those streets. And I think part of what she was expressing was that now she had an opportunity to actually live. She mm -hmm. could be safe. The women on the street sometimes wear two and three pairs of pants so that they can protect themselves from rape, mm. which happens all, all the time. Mm. You know, Mayor Bass, this week you also signed Executive Directive 7 to accelerate the housing approval process for Angelinos of all income levels. How will that work? Well, basically, the problem in Los Angeles has been development is difficult, it takes a very long time, and that then makes it extremely expensive. And so developers have said, if you could cut the red tape, we could build more housing, we could deal with the housing crisis in Los Angeles, but you need to end the bureaucracy. So that's what Executive Directive 7 does. It expedites the planning and approval process. Now, we started this in my first week of my administration, but it was focused on 100% affordable. Affordable. Now we are saying all income levels because Los Angeles has become just unaffordable to live here. Mm -hmm. You hosted a conference this week where you and several mayors from across the country at your invitation toured Skid Row and the Hilda Solis Care First Village. Explain the significance of those two locations. Well, uh, sure. But also, first, let me just say that right after I took over, I joined the U.S. Conference of Mayors, thousands of mayors from around the city, and we're all facing the same situation. So I was appointed to chair the National Task Force on Homelessness, and we had our first convening here in Los Angeles. I took about 20 mayors from around the country to visit Skid Row, because Skid Row in Los Angeles really is the epicenter of homelessness in the country. It's from four Four to 7,000 people living on the streets in tents in a very small geographic area. And what is happening in Los Angeles, again, similar to other cities, you see tent communities all over town. And that creates tremendous distress, obviously, for the people in the tents, but also for the surrounding neighborhoods and community. Mayor Bass, we've got less than a minute left, but I can't let you go without turning to the big Democratic wins in Tuesday's elections, and especially your reaction to Philadelphia electing its first woman mayor, Sherelle Parker, who's also the city's 100th mayor, black woman. Well, let me just tell you that I look forward to meeting her, and uh, I hope to talk to her sometime this week, and then I hope to meet her in person in January at the U.S. Conference of Mayors. <laughs> Karen Bass, mayor of the great city of Los Angeles, thank you very much for coming back to The Saturday Show. Thanks for having me on.